Hello, this is Wan Hyun. In this video, I'm going to do some finite element analysis, uh, especially the mesh meshing uh, issue. So, you know, uh, if you have the coarse mesh, mesh uh, in other words, the bigger mesh, uh, it gives much stiffer than a uh, smaller mesh. So, uh, when you make uh, the defined, I mean, smaller mesh, it converges to some the number. So this is the convergence test we call. So yeah, let's do this. So I have here uh, the long box, rectangular box, which has the notch in the center of that beam. Okay, so when you have this model, so I will change the size of mesh and then looking at the maximum deflection at the end of this beam. So that uh, maximum deflection gonna be changed in terms of the size of mesh. So please, okay, so let's start. So open new space, new study, I'm sorry. And then here, this is just static analysis and then click it. And let me specify all the material for this model. So it doesn't matter which material, but I'm, I'm uh, stick with the aluminum alloy 6061 um, here. And then apply close okay so and then this model it just it's just uh, cantilever so the one side is fixed the one side is free okay and then force gonna be 10 Newton at the other end here and then let me change the selected direction so this should be specified uh, this edge okay and then force direction gonna be uh, opposite here I change this one and then uh, it'll be 10 Newton okay so let me make a mesh the mesh size is default size okay so let me check uh, how, how large it is so here 2 millimeter when I click on check this mesh par parameters you can see uh, how large these elements overall I mean the average average size that's 2 millimeter okay run it now ready to run let's go run it I'm sorry what's this comes from so okay so here so this is this is the the results let me click displacement results and then change uh, select the U component I'm sorry UI components and then uh, change the scaling is automatic click it so now the maximum deflection at the end of this beam is 2.4 it's a negative uh, direction so um, keep in mind 2.4 okay so let me change the size of mesh it'll be smaller okay so little the half small the this is going to be 1.5 millimeter the average size and then click ok so you see that it's uh, smaller than before and then run it we have 2 point negative 2.4 number and then here double click displacement now I have a little bit larger than before I mean the negatively larger so two points 2.5 almost 2.6 okay it was 2.4 right so because of now it's smaller mesh okay let me do again same thing so very fine oh I'm sorry very fine and then click it and run it it takes longer time so now we expect the number is the absolute number is bigger than before okay let me check it so we have it so it's 2.6 2.615 okay so as you uh, as you know the difference between the previous previous is uh, the difference is much smaller than before so it's converged to 2.6 something okay so now you can see uh, some convergence I mean the dependence of size of mesh okay thank you if you have a can if you have any question just let me know